Okay, welcome to this glamorous hotel room in North Melbourne. Um, glamorous life of a lone engineer. Um, but, <laughs> my Mega 65 came along with me. So, um, now this took me, I uh, spent quite a bit of time last weekend trying to get this recorded nicely. And, um, the Mega 65 just wasn't interested, was not interested. So I tried, uh, let me just turn her on. Okay. So um, I originally had the, uh, the disc images on the external micro SD card and I would get a different issue each time. The SDHC card is not an SDHC card. Um, then there'd be something like um, it didn't recognize the D81 images or wouldn't list them. Then when it did list them, it would have the red border indicating it couldn't find anything on the images. Um, so this time I've gone for the internal SD card, um, which is still a real pain in the ass to get in and out. Um, in my humble opinion that is you know it's a nicely designed computer beautiful keyboard but they really <laughs> really messed up that simple sd card socket there anyway so now it should be working so i've done one bit of the video where i've created the, the d81 images on my windows laptop i've got the sd card installed i now press restore hold it down Okie uh, dokie, so in the bottom right we want to uh, change the internal drive image from the Mega 65, so I've got two, what was that one, was one I did last time, right, so this is Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, okay, we can see we've got Bitshit to Z. Z interpreter for the Mega 65 and the Hitchhiker uh, Z file, and we've got good old Zork 1. So let's try Zork 1. We've got it selected. Press return. Okie dokie. Now, sometimes I press F5 to reset, but I'm going to try F3 just to resume. Now, when I've done a directory, alright, so directory UA8. There's nothing there, okay? <laughs> and the external drive spins up. So let's see what happens when we do this. Okie dokie. And nothing. Okay, let's reset. Try this again. Okay, hold down restore. Okay. Let's try Zork1 again. Okay, so Zork1.d81 is the disk image. Let's just try load. One. Let's not do a directory first. Hey, Tony Villa. Still not working. <laughs> the crash. Oh, okay. Hitchhikers. I know Hitchhikers is working. I did Hitchhikers already. Let's do Hitchhikers. Okay, zero. We'll select Hitchhikers. Okay. All right. And then we'll go F3 to resume. And we'll just go. Well, let's, let's do a directory. What's, what's it going to say to the directory? I assume that's right. Let's just double check. It's yeah, still hitchhikers. Okay, let's try. Now, mind you, I was a I was an Amstrad person growing up, so Commodore's still new to me. So if I'm doing this is wrong. I apologise, so that's crashed again. 
Okay. This is what was happening last time. Let's try this again, shall we? Okay. Alright, let's go down and choose Hitchhikers. Okie dokie, let's actually... Alright, let's just go back and then let's just... What if I do that? Okay. And then if I run it. Okay, that worked. There we go. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Now, F1 changes the text color. So I remember playing this on my Amstrad PC1640. So I remember it having white text on a blue background. Is that white or is that yellow? Okay, so that must be the menu. So that's F3, changing the menu color. Okay, F5 is changing the border color. And then F, sorry, I'm doing this in the dark. F7 changes the background color. So how's that? Okay. You wake up, the room is spinning very gently around your head, or at least it would be if you could see, which you can't. It is pitch black. Oh, let me see. Try opening eyes. Open eyes. Oh, they are open. Okay. It's pitch black. Um, turn on light. Hey! <laughs> Good start to the day. Pity it's going to be the worst one of your life. The light is now on. Bedroom in the bed. The bedroom is a mess. There's a small bedroom with a faded carpet and old wallpaper. There is a wash basin, a chair with a tatty dressing gown slung over it, and a window with the curtains drawn. Near the exit leading south is a phone. There is a flathead screwdriver here, and there is a toothbrush here. Now, usually you just like get all. Okay, can't reach it, you gotta get out of bed. Okay, idiot <laughs> almost kills you. Okay, get out of bed. Okay, all right. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. So I've got I've, I've got the dressing gown at least. Um, put on gown. And now wearing. Um, okay. So there's something in the pocket apparently. Opening the gown reveals a buffered analgesic. Oh. And a thing your aunt gave you, which you, you don't know what it is. Okay. So let's take the analgesic, <laughs> and that'll allow us. Okay, room calms down. Terrible how that goes. Wow, God. <laughs> oh, good old days when you had codeine in your Panadol, eh? Um, now, can we get everything? Okay, now we've got everything. Um, okay, toothbrush. You pick up the toothbrush, a tree outside the window collapses. There is no causal relationship between these two events. Okay, telephone. You pick up the receiver. A moment later, the dialing tone is suddenly cut off. Glancing through the window, you can't help but notice the large oak tree of which you're particularly fond crashing down through the phone cable. Shouldn't you be taking more interest in events in the world around you? While well, you've got it, interesting. Okay, so if you've read the books and you know what's going on. Um, here's the phone, here's the cell. Okay, so. Um, I don't think there's anything more. I'll just say, get a towel. Uh, look in the wash basin. I don't think we're going to see anything in there. Leave it alone. Look at look at the chair. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Let's um, let's draw. Ah, uh, let's open the curtains. Draw the curtains. Close them. Um, it's a bright morning. The sun is shining. The birds are singing, and a large yellow bulldozer is advancing on your home. Okay, we're on the front porch. Uh, your front garden lies to the south and you can re-enter your home to the north. The door has a pile of junk mail. I don't think we want to do anything in the mail. Um, oh. Do we want to get the junk mail? Um, 
So the good thing I like about this is that it's Sadie Collins. Okay. All right. Ah, took too long. <laughs> uh, astoundingly, a bulldozer pokes through your wall. However, you have no time for surprise because the ceiling is collapsing on you as your home is unexpectedly demolished to make way for a new bypass. You're seri seriously injured in the process, but on your way to the hospital, a fleet of Vogel constructor ships unexpectedly arrives and demolishes the earth to make way for a new hyperspace bypass. There we go. Let's see. Score 10. Um, 10 out of possible 400. Would you like to you know, restart, restore, or quit? So, that was a quick end of session. Power off. So that was a quick intro to Hitchhikers. Well, that was interesting. Uh, let's see if we get Zork to work. So let's try this again. This time. Um, we will just load comma eight. Okay, now we will run. Size 340 pages, there we go. Now we've got Zork. So same thing, um, we can change the background. So is it slowly? I don't know. Let's, let's kind of have it like, let's do, shall we go for Amber? And but we're green. I think that's green. Is that supposed to be green? Let's let's stick with that. Okay. West of house. So what's this one? 1986. This one. This is the latest. Well, originally 81. Anyway, west of house. You're standing in an open field west of a white house with a boarded front door. There is a small mailbox here I and mean, then of course you open the mailbox there's a leaflet inside. Get the leaflet. I do like this keyboard. Welcome to Zork. Zork is a game of adventure, danger and low cunning. In it you will explore some of the most amazing territory ever seen by mortals. No computer should be without one. Well, the Mega 65 is, is no longer with that one. Okay. So, west, so let's go to the house, east. Oh, the door, okay, so let's go around the house, shall we? Um, north of house, north side of the white house. There is no door here and all the windows are boarded up. So north is a narrow path. Let's keep going um, east, north. Mm -hmm. Behind the house, path leads to forest. In one corner of the house, is a small window which is slightly ajar. Okay, so into a window. Okay, we're in the kitchen. Get all. Okay, uh, put. Can we put bottle? Bottle in sack. Ah, <laughs> in sack. Oh, okay. Can we put the bottle in there? There's no room. Fair enough. Okay, we're in the kitchen. The table seems to have been used recently for the present preparation of food. The passage leads to the west. A dark staircase can be seen leading upward. A dark chimney leads down, and to the east is a small window. Um, so let's go to the west because what we want to do is we want to get the torch or the lantern. Get a lantern. Won't won't let us take the trophy case. Okay, we've opened the trophy case. It's, don't worry, it's almost forty years since I played this last. So I'll, uh, okay, there's a doorway to the east. Um, a wooden door with strange gothic lettering, lettering to the west, which appears to be nailed shut. Trophy case and a large oriental. Okay, can we move the rug? Oh, close.
first trap door. Okay. Uh, maybe we want to go upstairs first before we go downstairs. Back in the kitchen. Turn on lantern. Okay. And if we go up, we're in the attic. Large coil of rope. Oh, yeah, so that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to get everything up there. Because um, if, we, if we turn off, okay, not that it really matters. We're in the kitchen, so let's go west again. Open the trap door if we can. Rickety staircase. Okay. Oh, so we want to turn on the lantern again. Turn on the lamp. Okay, we're now in the cellar. You're in the dark, damp cellar with a narrow passageway leading north and a crawl way to the south. On the west is the bottom of a steep metal ramp, which is unclimbable. Your sword is glowing with a faint blue glow. Ooh. Let's go north then. Aha, the troll room. Okay, a small room with passages to the east and the south and a forbidding hole leading west, bloodstains and deep scratches. Perhaps made by Axe Mar the walls. A nasty looking troll brandishing a bloody axe blocks all passages out of the room. Your sword has begun to glow very brightly. Troll swings his axe and it nicks your arm as you dodge. Okay, um, attack. Attack troll with, I think I've got, I've got a knife, yeah. The troll dodges. Ooh, okay, let's try attacking him again. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, it's useless, right. <laughs> you have died. <laughs> So another chance, so I can't quite fix you up completely, but you can't have everything. So we're back in the forest again. Let's check, uh, we've got nothing on us again, eh? So we're back in the forest, score is 25. So there we go, quick intro. Now let me, so one thing you can do is you can save, save to disk unit eight and um what's today saturday uh, let's just call it saturday um saturday the 18th wasn't it 18th of june let's do that done okay and um quit Blah, blah, blah. Yes, we want to leave. Oh. Oh, caps lock doesn't work. There we go. That doesn't matter. Power off. <laughs> and we're back. So I hope that was of some use. Um, if you're interested in playing text adventure games in 80 columns on a, on a Commodore, um, I quite enjoyed playing those games. I remember playing those games back in the day. So I'll, uh, I'll be definitely giving, giving them a bit more of a play. Uh, enjoy. Okay, first time I'm trying this. Um, let's give this a go. So to use this on our Mega 65, we need to create a uh, D81 disk image, so for the 1581. <clears throat> so I'm using Dermaster here, Directory Master. You can just press 8, I believe, or just select disk, new, and 8. So I've got a new D81 image there. Okay, so first of all, we want to bring across the uh, the BitShifter, BitShifter's Z interpreter for the Mega 65. Bring that over as a program type. And then these are some of the Infocom uh, <coughs> files, uh, Z files. 
Uh, I've already renamed them after downloading them from, from GitHub. So for um, BitShifter's Z interpreter, it's got to start with the Z. Um, and obviously it's, uh, you know, it's got to be a 16 character file name for the, for the, um, for the Commodore. Um, so let's try, do this one here, Zork. Uh, the other one is it's got to be a, a sequential type data file. So S, okay. And it can be the only one on the disk. So you can't have a whole bunch. So basically just have new disk for each type. So file will save this one. Um, <clears throat> disk, save as. Uh, let's call this one, so it's this one, Zork1. One. Zork1. One. Okay. Uh, oh. What am I doing here? Okay, infocom. Zork1. D81. Yeah. I don't think it does, but okay. Okie dokie. Now let's let's just do a new one. I won't might just let's do a new <clears throat> new D eighty one copy across the interpreter and let's do Leather Goddess of Phobos, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Okay, and we'll save this one. Um, save as. Hitchhiker. Okay. So we've got those two. So let um, let's copy them onto the SD card and give it a go.